so you left and yeah. decided to do something that is a, probably the biggest and even bigger rebellion than becoming a pastor yeah. by getting into what what you've termed as stripping but it's not stripping like going to a strip club is it no yeah it's hard to come up with the title so i do all my work online um mm. and i do it all through only fans and so you can call me an OnlyFans creator. You can call me, because I was trying to think like, well, I get paid to take my clothes off. So it's like technically stripping, but yeah, it's not your conventional dance on a pole in a club. Um, I've also been called a sex worker and I think that's a legit term. Mm. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what the best word is there, but yes, it's, <laughs> if I thought coming out as going to be a pastor was wild and rebellious, <laughs> yeah, you can imagine how me coming out as an OnlyFans creator, stripper, sex worker, was received by those in my community. <laughs> Just doing the Lord's work in a different way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how did your family react to that? Oh gosh, it's so hard for them. It still is. And it's is something we can't even talk about because it's just so triggering for them. And it makes me a little sad because I'm still the same person. I feel just as authentically Nicole doing this as I was when I was pastoring to the point that I even feel like I'm still a pastor because I do this super hot, sexy work. But Andrew, so many of my fans or clients come to me for life coaching support. How do I start my own business? How can I make more money? How can I leave my religion? Um, how do I tell this person I like them? How do I raise my child by myself? Because I'm also a single parent. You know, these deep conversations that are happening inside my community and it's so beautiful and sacred, but it's just so easy to hear, oh, she's a stripper, she's a sex worker, she's an OnlyFans creator, and just be labeled and shut off and rejected by my people. Well, if that's all you were, then then you wouldn't have sort of blown up on the internet. You wouldn't be having we wouldn't be having this conversation now because it would just be uh, OnlyFans person. There are plenty of people on OnlyFans. So I think obviously what's interesting about you is all the different aspects, which is that you're a life coach as well and a, and were a pastor from a, a religious yes. family. Yeah. Oh. Do, do you find that a lot of your um, clients for life coaching are, are a lot of them sort of admirers as well? And, and can that get mixed up? Yeah, I was nervous when I started doing this work that I would lose life coaching clients because that was my business first before I started this other business. Mm. But it actually, I get clients because I do this work, because they see me living fully expressed, fully unleashed, living life on my terms. And like did it in a healthy way. I'm not like doing a bunch of drugs. And I'm homeless. I'm like happy, healthy, raising a beautiful family and having this appearance, which is true, that I have it all. I have a very successful career doing life coaching and this online work. And I'm also a great mom and a great partner and a great human. So it's actually grown my life coaching business. And, and then what's also cool is my OnlyFans, I've had some of them go on to become life coaching clients or become course students. Yeah. And I love like the bleeding of my worlds together. That's part of what I, why I do what I do and why I'm so public about it is to me, there's no separation. There's no yeah. compartmentalization. I get to be a model and a mother. I get to be sexy and be taken seriously. I get to be risque and respected. And so by bleeding it together, my OnlyFans get to have the sexy stuff, but they also get the really powerful support they want. And then my life coaching clients who get powerful support also find permission and freedom to be sexy, to be seen, to be a little more self-expressed in whatever way they want to do it. And it's a win for everyone. But I suppose that's that's where it gets really complicated, isn't it? Because these are people who are obviously paying for your photos and stuff. And you know, we can imagine, forgive me for being forward, what they're doing when they look at those photos, yeah. right? Yes, yeah. You're then in a role of almost like a therapist, mm -hmm. right? It's, it's life coach is quite a similar mm -hmm. thing, different qualification, yeah. but uh, I, I think some people can sort of poo-poo the whole life coach thing, but I've got friends of mine who have seen life coaches and are happy and it's helped. I know the German state, because well, I happen to live here, they they provide life coaching for people uh, who, who are unable to find employment and stuff, and it's very beneficial. Yeah amazing yeah it's cool a friend of mine was was actually was doing that and they were helping with you know and that was part of he had to go to those life coaching sessions so that he could continue to get his benefits from the state wow, while looking for work incredible. Mm, that's berlin but uh so he's happy with it um but yeah obviously if you're in this sort of teacher slash therapist situation this dynamic and they've been doing whatever with the photos i suppose of course you don't mind but it's, it's quite strange and it must, does it not sometimes get too intense? Are there, do they ever go, cross a boundary with you in the life coaching sessions? 
Mm, no, my fans are so respectful. Like I know what they do wow. with my photos and I, I love it um, because part of it's like I'm able to like give them pleasurable experiences, give them connection, have hot sessions, hot moments, and they get to go deep with me, which I think is actually healing because a lot of us have been raised where we have to separate that. I can have like hot sex scenes over here, but if I want to have like deep conversations, I have to go over there. But why can't you get both from the same exact place? And so my fans have found it incredibly healing and they're the most respectful um, where like, and like even in our, our messages, they'll say, Hey, what's okay to say or not say, I want to make sure I respect you and don't ever like go past your boundaries. They are initiating that conversation or they're checking in. Hey, I want to see, is this okay? Cause I have different fans who will like write erotica for me or who will do like a hot sexting session, but they're always checking. Are you okay? Is this okay to like, cross the boundary? And it's so beautiful. So I feel like what we're, what they're learning in there are life skills, how to communicate, how to connect, honoring your own boundaries, honoring someone else's boundaries. <laughs> 